Let's see what the fuck this is. Meet Barbie Kardashian, the trans woman who has- All right. All right, everyone. We're going to talk about this fucking cringe ass shit. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's find out what she's got to say. Just to suffer? No. We do this because we need to push back against this shit. And when people search for Blair White, there needs to be videos rebutting this shit. Because if they just run wild, if they just run wild and unchecked, then their fucking, I their fucking ideology becomes the normal, becomes the norm. And fuck that shit. All right. Here we go. Let's talk about this Blair White video. Let's talk about it. Meet Barbie Kardashian, the trans woman who has never medically transitioned. You haven't either, Blair White, you fucking idiot. At all, who is currently in a women's prison after a string of sexual assaults against women, physical assaults against women, and one horrifying incident of using her nails to physically gouge out the eyes of a female staff worker. Okay. Yeah, who, who cares? Good. Good, Reza Sutra. Let's make that the case. Nice. Uh, none of those facts are relevant at all. So this is just a criminal. This is just a criminal. Make it make sense. Somebody did crimes. That person happens to be trans. Nice. Good thing they're in jail. Damn. Hey guys, welcome back to my main channel. So a few videos back, I mentioned that I had a bit of a darker video coming down the pipeline, a topic that is not so lighthearted. So this is your one and only warning. This video does deal with some pretty messed up stuff. It is the stuff of nightmares. You cannot make half of this stuff up. Actually, you can. It's really fucking easy. Today, we're discussing a topic that is very uncomfortable for many in the world of trans discourse and trans activism, and that is prisons and trans people. Oh, you're going to do the whole discussion. Okay, so, um, is that a trigger warning? Yeah, it's a trigger warning. How, how weird. Hmm. Hmm. Um, it, it, what it is, is this, is she's hyping up her own content. She's going, what you're about to see is so scary. It's so bad. The trans people are so scary. Um, oh man, look at that freeze frame. Look at that fucking freeze frame. Oh, baby, that's a good freeze frame. Fuck. I feel like I want to grab that. Holy shit. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's grab it. Let's grab this. Blammo. There we go. Got it. I got that for later. Um, Yeah, okay. So here's the thing. Um, Believe it or not, anyone can do a crime. Did you know that? I don't know if you knew this, but, um, but, but anyone can do a crime. Women, men non-binary people they can all do crimes i know it's really weird um and in fact they don't even you can do a crime it's true you could be gay and do crimes at the same time now um what this sort of video likes to do um generally is to poison the well by making vague implications they don't actually make an argument there's just this vague implication that oh a trans person did a crime. Oh, you mean the disgusting... What What she's saying is calling them a degenerate. It's saying that, oh, you see? Look at that nasty trans person did a crime. That probably means they're degenerated. They're like some disgusting monster. What does that have to do with them being trans? Just that you don't like trans people? Is it the idea that like women can't do a crime and therefore... You must be a man if you do a crime? Doesn't make any sense. It, it's literally just vague signaling to try and basically say, I don't like this trans person. I think they're a d degenerate man, is what she's basically saying. But she's prettying it up to make it seem like there's an argument there. But there isn't. There's no argument. And watch. I'll show you. There won't be what prison is appropriate for a trans person to go into when and if they're convicted of a certain crime. Prisons are a part of life for millions of people in this country. Trans people are a part of the population, no matter how small of a segment they may be. And so issues arise when it comes to trans people when and if they are convicted of crimes with, you know, this trans person is fully transitioned, bottom surgery and all, this person is halfway transitioned. This Wait, why does that matter? And also, can you define what a halfway transition means? I would love that. But Imagine if a person could oh. really be gay and do a crime. I know. It's SMH. not possible. 
Only straight people do crimes. If you do, if you do a crime, well, you must be straight. I'm sorry. What does that even mean? None of these terms have meanings. This is all vague. None of this means anything. Blair herself doesn't believe in this. By Blair's own fucking standards, she would be considered halfway transitioned. Oh wait, except halfway transition doesn't mean anything. It's just a way of signaling that the person that you're talking about is a degenerate. That's all she's saying. Just, I, I wanna just take apart these, these statements. This person is not transitioned at all. And so what is the appropriate place for them? Also, what happens when things go terribly, disgustingly wrong, which we're gonna talk about those scenarios and how I think you can best avoid them. You know, this is a topic that is None of, what is this? 11 transgender inmates assaulted in male prisons last year? Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. I know, I've thought about that too. Those lips, yeah. Fillers are, anyway. Uh, the point is, um, look at this. She's got one that disproves her own argument. 11 transgender inmates assaulted in male prisons last year. Yeah, as it turns out, if you put trans people into a highly transphobic place that they do not belong, they will be harmed. They will be harmed. Wow. Transgender inmate charged with sexual assault at a women's prison. Oh, uh oh, oh shit. Oh no, wait a minute. What's this? What's the sexual assault rate at a women's prison anyway? Oh wait, as it turns out, there are women who commit sexual assault in women's prison, and it doesn't matter if they're trans, if they're trans or not trans. Weird. Oh shit. Actually, it's funny. It's literally a joke. This is how. This is how absolutely stupid it is. You know how conservatives always make jokes about prison rape? Whoa, those prisons are single gender prisons. Oops, looks like you already use a regressionary joke that states the opposite opinion of what you're talking about. Fucking stupid. These people are so fucking busted. Their brains are busted. Constantly debated on social media, but I very rarely ever see anyone just get it right. So I'm going to get it right today. The star of today's video is someone by the name of Barbie Kardashian. Yes, this mugshot is real. This is not a creepypasta. And this story is okay. probably the most disgusting and disturbing instances of a trans person being put into a women's prison. And I say trans person in quotations, you will see why this person is basically Jessica and Eve on steroids. I would say on hormones, but that's not the case. You cannot make this. I fucking hate Blair White. Holy fucking shit. Story up. And like I said, this mugshot is real. But before we go any. 90% of, by the way, 90% of Blair White's um, content is just making fun of people's appearances. It's going to be so fucking motherfucking funny to check in on Blair White 10 years from now when Blair White's fucking aged as fuck and can't even get a single view on her goddamn videos because she's built an audience that only cares about looks so gross further i do it's gonna be so satisfying i'm sorry brand that i'm very loyal that's to evil but it's gonna be great surf shark schadenfreude VPN. if you don't know what a vpn is it's basically an app shut the fuck up shut the fuck up allows you to place a, it is a goal Her as a female so sorry the story of barbie kardashian takes place in ireland Barbie is currently, this is a current story, in a women's prison despite a long history of sexual assault against women and violence against women. Barbie is described as okay. a male who identifies as a female, but has not okay. undergone any medical transition, no surgery, no hormones, okay. no- Okay, so what? Does, who cares? Why is any of that, why is any of that relevant? Does any of that matter? lived experience as a woman but yet the irish government seems that it is appropriate for barbies to be in a women's prison and has barbie sleeping in cells with female inmates now barbie's story is very sad and i don't say that out of sympathy for barbie you know the only sympathy i have is yeah, for the fair. victims of barbie but as you could probably guess barbie's childhood was really disturbing so barbie oh look at that we're going into the the thing about disturbed about trans people being disturbed in their childhood. Nice. Witnessed their father beat their mother, sexually assault their mother, and actually joined in That's on fucked. those attacks. 
That's which is fucked. very disturbing. That's really I fucked. Can't. So it was a learned behavior that Barbie took. No, that's not what that means at all. Holy fucking shit. Uh, Barbie was abused and therefore it was a learned behavior. No. Yes. Can it have an influence? But the idea that like, this is like doubly bad. This is saying that like, oh, trans people are all abused in childhood. And secondly, they learn whatever they were abused from. No. Can, can you um, become abusive as a, a cycle of abuse is a well-recognized thing, but that doesn't mean that you just inherit abuse. Like, how many of us in this, how many people have been fucking abused in their life and turned out, turned out perfectly fine? That's such a stupid argument. This is like such an essentialist argument. Holy fuck. Into adulthood. In one really disturbing story, Barbie actually attempted to- Wait a second. Gouge the eyes out of a okay. female care staff worker when Barbie was a teenager. That was before even Barbie was in prison. So Barbie this was a long time ago. What the fuck? Attempted. Also, look at this reflection. What the fuck she got in this reflection? This looks like a fucking... Is that a mattress? She has her camera propped up on a mattress? That's literally a mattress. Like an air mattress. Oh shit. Blair White. Is the money driving, drying up already? That's the legs of the... That is the legs of the tripod on a fucking air mattress. Oh shit. Blair White's living in a basement. Oh fuck. Oh shit. The solicitor said that Barbie would be exceptionally vulnerable in a prison setting and is very anxious she be detained in a prison facility for females as she identifies as female. Well, sweetie, I'm sorry, okay. but when you have a history of- Yeah, I mean, that's a perfectly rational thing. Do you think that like, hey, here's a question for Blair White. What if there was a cis woman lesbian who had a history of beating her partners? Do you think that person should be locked in a male prison because they were primarily victimizing other women? Whoops. Looks like your argument literally doesn't hold up to the smallest amount of scrutiny. You don't give a fucking shit about that. women and physically assaulting women. We're going to need a little more than I'm a girl too. Please let me sleep in a cell with female inmates. We're going to need a little. Whoops. A little more yeah. Than male rapists go to male prisons. Ah, sweetie, I'm sorry, but we are. So again, we have to be clear, there is no even small bit of medical transition under Barbie's belt. And Who yet cares? Somehow, what, what does medical transition suddenly not make you a, a criminal anymore? Does, does medical transition make you, like, better of a person? If that was true, Blair White, you should be at least half of a better person than you are! Oh, shit! The British government decided that it was best for Barbie to be placed in... A women's prison now this is based on what's called self id so self id has actually been written into law in many countries like yeah self id Ireland. is what you have blair white self id is what you have and in certain states we have self id here in the united states it's mm -hmm. basically i'm trans because i said so and that yep that's the only way that you can be trans is if you say so yep weird how that works out is the entire basis you don't have to have any proof any yep. medical diagnosis yeah nothing and this determines what prison you go to. Now, in America, it's much different. It varies state by state and certain states. Yeah, in America, guess what? In America, it's really cool. Uh, if you go to prison as a trans person, you can be put into a private prison with men and be forced to do uh, f slave labor alongside men, even though you're a trans woman. Haha, <laughs> isn't it great? America's awesome. Cool America. I'm more strict. Think of maybe like in Arkansas. It's going to lean more towards you go to the prison based on your biological sex and biological Do you know sex. that? Did you look up the laws in Arkansas? Probably not. Also, how much you want to bet that this person is, is literally already in a single cell? I highly doubt that they will put this prisoner in a cell with a cellmate. Do you know that that doesn't, that like, when somebody can't have a cellmate, if somebody regularly harms their cellmates, they get put in a cell by themselves. I know, shocking concept. Turns like, seems like Blair White might have just made that up without actually looking into it. Only places like California are more lenient in the sense that- Well, listen to Frozen chance, while you, while you are. You have a good chance of just being able to go to the prison that you want. Now, if you think that I'm an absolutist in my approach to this and that I lean towards, yeah, biological sex, that's the prison you go to, I think there are problems with both ends of the extreme. And so I'm going to offer some solutions in this video. No, you won't. outside of that. I, I know highly a lot of people, that. maybe even that are watching this video, are Wait, more is she gonna with... is she gonna offer like a trans only prison? Oh, that'll be incredible! Oh my God, watch her advocate for trans concentration camps. Keeping it simple. Holy in their shit! Mind, please, which, you know, God, no. Biological sex you're born as that's what prison you go to, and then other people are gonna be more on the extreme of. 
if this person says they're a woman, they're a woman, put them in the women's prison. But these sort of absolutist extremist positions are what gets us into 99% of the messes we get into mm, that's in not all true. areas nope, of wrong. when it comes to trans people. For example, me, bitch, in their right mind, who would think that if God forbid y'all caught me slipping and convicted me of some kind of crime, that I would be best placed into a men's prison. Yep. By your own standards, absolutely you would be. By your own standards. Literally, this argument is I pass, therefore I should be given things. But according to her own argument, she should be put in a male prison. Now, I don't agree with that for the record. But according to her own argument, that's the case. And this is basically, this is like half of what she talks about these days. Think about it long and hard. I... This is literally just being like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, but I can't. I don't deserve to go in the, but I'm pretty, ah, as the, as the fucking fascists drag you away. Girl. But I mean, come on. Even in men's prisons with only men, men are having relations with other men by force or otherwise. What do you think would happen if I came strutting in? Probably, maybe a lot of them would ignore you because they like men. Like, what the fuck? However, and not to make this all about me, I'm just using me I mean, as an example. Example, too late. I could also see how, in the minds of most people, it would be inappropriate for me to be in a women's prison. I am pre-op. Now, would I be a danger to women? Obviously not. However, what do you mean, obviously not? What do you mean, obviously not? What do you mean, obviously not? You got a dick. By your own standards, that makes you a threat. I'm too hot to be a threat. Holy shit, Blair White is so motherfucking stupid. Holy fucking shit. Never. This is why I personally believe that the solution to this issue is LGBT wards in prisons. Do you guys remember that one? Oh my God, she's doing it. She's advocating for trans gulags. Holy shit. Vermin, thank you so much for sending me this way. I just needed this. I absolutely needed Blair White advocating for trans and gay gulags. Oh my God. And meme, I've been waiting for you at the dough. I'm being real with you because I heard about you. I'm waiting on you at the dough. So that person is actually a trans woman, and this is from a reality show that was filming inside of an LGBT prison ward. Television gold, by the way. Like, I need to watch that fully. Yeah, I can fight with nails. Don't get it twisted. I got an attitude problem. I shot my landlord. Now, not all. Oh of them have shit! LGBT Wait, what? I need to watch that fully. Yeah, I can fight with nails. Don't get it twisted. I got an attitude problem. I shot my landlord. I now shot my landlord. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not all prisons have LGBT. Mal pilled as fuck. Because of funding or whatever the case may be. I don't exactly know. However, I do think this is the solution for trans people who are convicted of crimes. At least, especially trans people who are pre or non-op or just are on their way to becoming post-op. You know, I think housing trans people with other trans people and other LGBT people is probably the best bet here. And it's not- So you just put all of the gay and trans people- Wait a minute, notice that- Wait, wait, notice, listen to this. Listen to this again. Listen. You know, I think housing trans people with other trans people and other LGBT people- With trans people and other LGBT people. Wait a second. Wait a second. You just kind of rolled- Oh, you kind of rolled everything in there. Oh, fuck. Well, it's probably the best bet here. And it's not because trans people are inherently a danger to those around them, but it's also for the sake of the safety of trans people because there are a lot of trans people who get assaulted in prisons as well when they are placed with their biological sex, and that is an issue as well. It's Yeah, it's the biggest issue. It's by far the biggest issue. The risks and the dangers and the assaults for everyone. Is this gay no state? No, this is gay log. This is making the gulag, but it's only for gay people. You make a special prison and you lock all of them in there, and nothing will do go wrong with that. Definitely nothing will go wrong with the gay log. There really are no easy answers for when you're in the middle stage of that transition, so I think the best thing is LGBT wards. This is a deeply complicated issue where you have to balance the rights of female inmates and of the trans person. Because unfortunately, Did you know that trans men exist, Blair White? I know you forget, but trans men exist. Barbie Kardashian is not some, you know, crazy outlier, and this is something that happens all the time, and we actually have a lot of examples of this. No! What are you literally, definitionally an outlier? What the fuck are you talking about? What?! 
especially as more and more states are becoming more lenient with trans people in prisons. You have this trans person named Karen White who, no relation to me, let it be known. Doubt. Who is a pre-op trans inmate in a women's prison. Who You're a pre-op trans inmate of the fucking conservative order, but all right. Who also has a history of violence and who, in a span of three months of being locked up, assaulted two female inmates. Okay. That yeah. Okay, guess what? There are cis women who've done exactly that thing. There are cis women who have done exactly that thing. You fucking clawed the conservative plantation. Exactly. That is an Literally. issue. Literally. And I'm sorry, but the female inmates have rights as well, and it's not fair to lock... I love, I love that the conservative answer to like, oh, trans people mistreated in prison? Oh my God, I have such a good option. Here we go. Let's build a gay concentration camp. Yay! Love you, girl. That's, that's Blair White's entire brand. Love you into the concentration camp with you. No, wait, don't take me. Oh, I'm too beautiful to die them up with people like this. Concentration camp. Trans inmate Heather Mason in Canada who was charged with sexual assault also which took place in the women's prison okay. she was locked up in. And then yeah, here's okay. the gag. There's a story about how 11 trans people in men's prisons this year were also assaulted. So it's it's very messy. It's not easy and we can't get it perfect but I think LGBT wards are the closest to getting it perfect. Yeah. At the end of the day I want to totally. decide it would be totally perfect to house all of the gay people in an easily forgettable corner of the world where where un, unannounced amount of abuse will be will be meted out on top of them as they're an ignored hyper minority who don't even get the basic rights that we afford to 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 fucking prisoners in this country and we barely even do those do you know how bad we treat Amer do you know how bad we treat prisoners in this country in general you think it's going to solve it by making a gay concentration camp are you for fucking, are you for fucking real? Like, holy fucking shit. Honest reality is when it comes to prisons, whether it be men's prisons, women's prisons, is that rape and sexual assault is rampant. Even the statistics on male on male sexual violence in prisons are sky high. Yeah, actually that goes that against your argument, you fucking idiot. That goes against your own argument. If the rape levels are already high in cis only prisons, then that means there's a problem with rape in prisons, not with trans people, you fucking idiot. Holy shit. Maybe we should do something about the fucking... Oh my god. Maybe we should do something about the prisons. Oh my god. For a large percentage of actual, in total, assaults in the country. So you're never going to be able to completely mitigate or remove these things from happening. But there are some things that just like are a no-brainer to me and that there's- Do you want to know what a no-brainer is? It's the math. This is simple math. If rape is happening all the time in a prison and it's possible that anyone in that prison could rape, then what you should do is you should try to address the rape, not fixate yeah, not fixate on trans people and try to pivot the issue on them. That's literally the definition of demonizing a minority and trying to fixate a much larger issue on the minority. Yeah, it is actually pouring outside. You can probably hear it. Yeah, Blair's the real no-brainer. Jesus fucking Christ. There's no reason for these things to be happening. There's no reason for a trans person who does not have any medical transition, still has all their male anatomy, to be placed in- You have your male anatomy, Blair. Fucking Christ. ...to a women's prison when they already have a history of assaulting women. Like, this is the kind of stuff that everyone can see coming and somehow- She's just an idiot, You know, newbie. this is just one of those topics, you guys. There's really no easy- solution and it's one of those things we are now learning to grapple with so let me know your thoughts down below i'd love to hear what you yeah no fuck you all right blair white is just as stupid as she's always been holy motherfucking shit holy motherfucking shit that was one of the stupidest things i've ever seen yeah the mental gymnastics is exhausting but i mean i think i don't even think she thinks about it i think she just goes blah 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 and spits out whatever and then puts it up and people heap praise on her and she keeps on hating herself
Leave her my thoughts? No. This is my thoughts. These are my thoughts. That was one of the stupidest videos I've ever seen. You didn't make a single argument. There wasn't a single argument in there except at the very tail end when you said we should have a special ward to lock all LGBT people in. Notice that she didn't even advocate just to put trans people in there. How the fuck are you? First of all, how the fuck do you even identify that? What do you do? Do you need to have like a sexuality test every time you go to jail? It's like... What happens is you go into jail, they fucking beat the shit out of you, steal all your shit, spray you down with delousing agents that burns your eyes, and then they say, all right, we're going to hold up two pictures. If you get hard to one of the pictures, we're going to put you in a gulag with people like you. How the fuck? How the fuck? What do you think about non-binary people in prison? I'm NB and really have no idea. Definitely scares me. Well, honestly... Um, yeah, it sucks. Uh, we don't have a solution for that at all because our prison system is monstrous. Our prison system is monstrous. And it, if we had an ideal prison system, you wouldn't need to have a, a prison system by which people have to do all kinds of stuff in gender segregated ways. Why don't we have a prison system that gives prisoners enough space that they don't have to go into a, um like a group shower where they can be abused by one another. Why not just make prisons that have a little shower in the room with you? Why not? Oh, wait, because we believe that, that the purpose of p prisons is to be as cruel as possible? Ah, now we're starting to get our eyes opened. Maybe it's because the way that we approach prisons is because... Um, is because we believe that our prison should be designed to basically be torture halls that we just think are okay. You know that, wait, let me just double check this stat. Here we go. Wait, what? Hold on, let me just do this. Let me just look this up real quick. I just saw an article about this. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let me just show you something. Ready? Want to show how want want to see how right I am about this? 20% of US prisoners infected with COVID-19 research. Roughly 20% of all state and federal prison inmates in the US have or previously contracted COVID-19. An investigation from the Associated Press and the Marshall Project found more than 275,000 inmates serving sentences for various offenses across the country have contracted the virus since the beginning of 2020. Damn. Little fucking weird, isn't it? You could go to prison. You could go to prison for fucking stealing something from the grocery store. You can go to prison for selling loose cigarettes. You can go to prison for a mistake, for smoking weed. And you get to have a 20% chance of getting COVID because the way that we built prisons in the United St States is that they're supposed to be torture boxes. In the United States, we believe in torture boxes. So there isn't a clean answer to anyone being in prison right now, whether they're non-binary, trans, or cis. It doesn't matter. You can die for using a $20 bill. Yep. In this country, we treat people like animals. We live in the fascist state that we've always feared. Yeah. As it turns out, you can't export imperialism to the world without imposing it on your own people. Yeah, prison is just a continuation of chattel slavery. I agree. I agree with you. But there's no clean answer because our system isn't clean. Our prisons are where we put people to forget about them so that they can hopefully die before we have to think about them again. And Blair White thinks that we should have a special box that we lock all of the gay and trans people into. Fuck Blair White. Blair White, you really are sad. Please, for the love of God... If you do anything with your life, the best thing you could ever do is leave the public eye forever. I'm serious. You will free yourself from a horrible future. 
if you just leave the public eye forever. Please, for the love of God. I'm sorry, but you must. You are going to ruin yourself. Yep. That's true. Hard to decide exactly when it became fascist when it was founded on genocide and slavery. Yeah. I'm just saying that right now. DM time? Yeah, let me show you. Let's show this up. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Hey, these look great. Yo! Look at that! Yo! There's one. And there's another one. Ah! These are both so good. Dank ass thumbnails. Good fucking job, Gina. Holy shit. These are great. I love this one. I love both of these. These are both really good. So good. So good, Gina. Holy fuck, that's great. Men in men's prisons. Uh oh, I got out of context. Men are having relations with other men by force or otherwise. What do you think would happen if I came strutting in? Probably, maybe a lot of them would ignore you because they like men. Like, what the fuck? But I mean, come on, even. <laughs> True, though. True. Oh, my God.